What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about whether or not Baby Doge is going to continue to pump or go down for now. So definitely stick around to the end of the video. And also, if you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and join. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over first. And also just hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out a lot. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But yeah, let's get straight to the video though. So I want to talk about this technical analysis that we did with Baby Doge. Now, a few days ago, I did this video on how Baby Doge was consolidating. And at the end of the consolidation, we're pretty much going to be going on a downtrend. So that's exactly what happened. And we did that to a T. We actually hit that downtrend literally at the end of the consolidation, broke out of it on a negative downtrend. But then right after that, we, we immediately started the pump. And that's what I was mentioning. I was like, look, it's probably going to be a fake out, like where it's just going to go down and trick you pretty much be a bear trap. So it trapped bears. People thought it was going to be bearish after that, after that consolidation. I kind of knew it would be bullish, but uh, watch the previous videos. Not the video from yesterday, but the one before that. And then you'll see what I, exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, I pretty much knew it was going to happen like this. So the 24-hour market control is in control, in control by the bulls by 80%. So it's pretty much showing this 80% bullish right now. And actually, if you look over here, Baby Doge is really up a lot right now. 18.8% in the last 24 hours. It was actually more earlier on in the day, but it's been going down since the uh early day today so now we're having you know a little bit of a downtrend here or we're pretty much going to be talking about whether or not this is going to continue to pump and whether or not we're gonna you know either continue to pump or go down from here so right here you can actually see the support line is actually about to be met so we did get rejected here now i'm going to show you what i pretty much the drawings that i made in the previous video so let's take off the indicators i, I was pretty much like look this is exactly what's going to happen i was like look we're gonna, probably going to do a little bit of pull pullback and then we're going to go up and do another pullback and probably go up from there again. Now, I didn't do it exactly how I thought it would. It did pull back, but not as far as I thought it would. And then it did go up, but it didn't pull back immediately all the way down to that last support where I thought it would go down. It actually just continued to go up from here. So from right now, what I'm seeing with Baby Doge, we could be doing a pullback back to about 1250. So we may see uh, 8Z1250 for Baby Doge. So it'll pretty much look something like this and we'll pull back to this level right here. And that is one of the options that Baby Doge can take. Remember, anything can happen in these markets. It's very volatile. But right now, what I'm seeing, we do have some good support. This whole green area pretty much shows there's more demand for Baby Doge there. So if there's more demand for Baby Doge at 8Z1250, then that just means that that's going to be the area where people are more likely to buy in at. So it's definitely going to be a pretty good area of support for us. We still can't even see Will Watch or Finance. I want them to hurry up and fix their website because it really helps out with this. But anyways, we have pretty much switched over here on the oscillator. This is all buying volume here, not getting much selling. So that's definitely pretty good news for us inside the Baby Doge Army. And look, I always talk about this all the time, how literally when Baby Doge is going, or I mean when the whole overall crypto market is going down, Baby Doge is going up. Like, look, Bitcoin dropped below 30K again, 29.2K. And actually, if you look at the Bitcoin tactical analysis, I thought it was kind of going to kind of follow Baby Doge. But actually, as you can see here, I did this technical analysis the same day that I did the Baby Doge one. I was like, look, it's on the same consolidation pattern. But see, there was something different with Bitcoin. Bitcoin broke out of the consolidation pattern into a negative trend, right? And then it kind of bottomed out and then it started to pump a little bit, but it immediately pretty much sold off all those gains that we had. So now we're seeing that it's selling off literally right before our eyes. Now, it was a little bit overbought, like right here, even, you know, pretty much we just sold all the way down there, but it's showing that it's overbought after that huge sell-off. And yes, obviously, this was an oversold area. So I think there's going to become more selling for Baby Doge because if this much buying pressure, which of, this is a pretty short amount of buying pressure, if all that buying pressure could be an overbought area, then you're probably going to see some more selling going on. Because look, this went from 28.8K all the way up to 29.3, and they considered that overbought. But when you look at the oversold area, it was about 30.4K sold all the way down here to pretty much 28.8K. So literally 2K right there. So that's a lot of money. And I, I don't know. I just think Bitcoin definitely has some ways to go. I've been talking about 25K Bitcoin for a while. This isn't a Bitcoin video, but I was talking about how Baby Doge is following Bitcoin. But now we kind of broke off from that. So typically we do follow in the market, but there's always those moments where Baby Doge just kind of breaks away from the crowd it sets its own path. And that's exactly what we're seeing now. So we're going to ignore Bitcoin right now. And now it's all Baby Doge. So do I believe Baby Doge can continue to pump from here? 
I think it's possible, but you have to expect this pullback. You just have to. Like this, it, we have to respect the support lines. Like you gotta even look at what happened back here when we're literally bullish inside of Baby Doge and we just kept pulling back. So like you, if you respect these support lines, you can see Baby Doge pulls back here. It does show a little bit less demand here in these red bars. But look, the second we hit the green areas, it's all up from there. All up from there. So we're actually seeing more green right now. So literally when we hit this green support here, it's going to be up from there. So where are we going to see Baby Doge go next? Well, we got to look at our supports that we had previously in Baby Doge. So let's go ahead and look at that. So the next area where Baby Doge could actually end up is this right here because you can see we did have some support there. So we may have some more. I, I mean, I mean, we had some resistance there. It was our support previously, but it was primarily our resistance. So that's why it's going to be our resistance again. So that's pretty much around 8Z17. So I want to say 8Z1750. When I say 8Z, that's eight zeros in 1750. So 888, blah, 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 eight zeros, and then 1750. So that's probably where we're going to see this resistance at. So you're going to see it go from 1400 to 1700 and probably get another pullback from there. But then after that, the next area for us to break would be up here at the 21, 2200 area. So this is the next resistance that we would have to break after we break one pretty much 1700. That's if we break 1700. Now, if we don't break 1700, you got to look at it realistically. We're going to break below the support that we set here. This was our resistance, but now it's our support and we've set it. So if we broke below that, the next area here would be 8Z10 and then we'll add another zero if we can't hold those levels. But yeah, Baby Doge has the potential to rise, but you just kind of got to look at the direction that we're really going right now. And Baby Doge has been getting some good news lately. But anyways, like I said, we have resistance up here. And as you can see, even at 1.9. So that could be the next area where we go. I think 1.7 is more realistic for right now, but we could be going up to 1.9. So definitely prepare for that as well. But like, like I said, if we do go down, we have this whole support area. So that's all good news there. Now, moving on from this, we have our 1.54 million holders, almost 1.6 million. I really want Whale Watcher Finance to start working again, but they're still not working, so we can't really go over the whales. But anyways, CoinX Global has us in their top five for searches. So yeah, Baby Dose is literally number two ranked for searches on CoinX Global, and that's huge for all the cryptos. We're even more searched than Bitcoin on CoinX Global. That's huge right there. And then over here, this is also big, the fact that we have more liquidity than most cryptos out there. So not 100% sure if this is true. This is what the Baby Doge developers are saying, but they're saying it seems as if Baby Doge has more underlying liquidity on decentralized exchanges backing it than any other meme, including Sheep. So including Sheep, all these other meme coins, Baby Doge has way more liquidity than them. So that's actually a huge statement. But yeah. This is pretty much all I got for y'all today. I just wanted to go over this and let you all know exactly my opinions on this, on where Baby Doge is going to be going next. Like I said, we're going to be doing a little bit of a pullback, maybe to that, back to like 1250. And then from there, we could be going all the way up to 1700. So definitely watch out for that soon. This is pretty much all I got for you all today. So yeah, definitely hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. If you become a member, of the, a member of the channel, I will be going over any crypto that the members want me to go over first. So definitely check that out. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. As always, I'll be back with another video. Peace.